Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Cree. Welcome back to another video. I have a small little haul of niche fragrances that I have been sampling. Y'all, I got this. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all, I got this from Scent Split. There are some fragrances that I have been wanting to try out. And so I went ahead and made me a little purchase for Scent Split. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So if that sounds like something you'd like to see, keep it locked in. I'll be right with you. All right, so you know how we do, right? Grab and go. So the first fragrance up that I have is Balaya. I'm glad we got this one first because I just want to kind of get this out the way. So I have stated this in a few videos now, but let this be the official. So you guys, I got Balaya and I have used it a little bit, right? I got this because I wanted to reference it with not only my Balaya oil from Fragrant Body Oils that I purchased, but I also had a dupe from a Middle Eastern perfume house. I had Fleur de Orientica that is supposed to be a dupe for Fleur Narcotic. When I got the oil from Fragrant Body Oils, I noticed that, wow, this smells very similar to Fleur de Orientica. For that reason, it was like nagging at me. I really wanted to get my hands on a sample. I had heard people say that this was like a beast mode fragrance and it was this and it was that, it was a clean, you know, perfect clean scent, musky. And I'm just like, man, what does this smell like, right? Went ahead and got the sample. And the first day when I got it, I sprayed a whole bunch of stuff on me, you know, just trying it out randomly in different places. And my mom stopped me and told me that whatever I had just sprayed was just so beautiful and she loved it. And she wanted to know what it was. And I didn't know what she was referring to. Like I, like I said, I had so many things on me. I really wasn't sure y'all so i'm going through the fragrances that i done put on my y'all had whole bottles and not only just these but whole bottles of fragrances and i'm like man what did i put on that she would like right so i know my mom's kind of her scent profiles that she likes and it's normally light florals and things she doesn't really like gourmands or anything like that so i'm like what is it that she is talking about and it dawned on me i'm like you know what i had this spray here on my hand literally just like two sprays you guys I'm like, is it possible she could smell that? I could still smell it, but I, I just didn't think it was projecting in such a way. So I sprayed it on her and I'm like, is that it? And she was like, yes, it is so gorgeous. What is it? Da, 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 da. So the story ends there. Y'all, I come to tell you that to me, this fragrance and Fleur de Orientica, they were very, very, very similar. They could be maybe a little different in the opening, but that dry down was very, very similar. Very, very reminiscent of Valaya, y'all. <laughs> now, I will add this piece in. My mom, I tried to show her that dupe that I had, and I did end up giving that to her, you guys, because you know it was on my declutter list. But she did add that she did not feel like they were spot on and she felt like it was like close it's okay but it wasn't the same so i do want to add in that tidbit somebody who's not a fragrance junkie and is not into all of this she didn't feel like it was a dupe she thought it was close but it wasn't like the real thing and she preferred the real thing giving real bougie vibes you know so anyway i just wanted to let you guys know that but yeah, I did also bring in the body oil that I had, the perfume oil, and she said that that was pretty much spot on. So, just for a little reference, if you guys want to get the perfume oil instead, if you're looking for something around that same vibe, my mom seemed to feel like the perfume oil worked just fine and it smelled just like it. Even more so than the dupe I thought. So, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> that said, how do I feel about this fragrance? Y'all, literally, the reason why I said that it smelled just like that dupe is because I don't care for the dupe. Y'all, what I will say, it's still a pretty fragrance. Very much so. It's just once this dries down, something about it just don't sit right with me. And it kind of makes me feel a little queasy. But <laughs> I don't know why. It's very clean and crisp and musky. It's, it should be right up my alley, y'all. I don't know why. It's not, but it is gorgeous. I do recommend it. You know in due time if you want it on sale or something like that it's a gorgeous scent it's just something about it in the dry down that just don't mesh well with me but i will tell you this i can't say that it's worth the price that it is to be honest i don't care how long it lasts <laughs> because 300 dollars or so for anything is just doing too much y'all not in this climate however if you're willing to pay that price this 
last forever and it is beast mode i don't know how they did that with a clean scent because my freshie lovers out there i know y'all know it's hard to get freshies to last forever they don't last like that so parfum de marley did they big one on this that's all i gotta say it's a clean fresh floral scent anybody who likes a clean white t-shirt type of scent you'll love this, this fragrance here yeah i was so excited to get this because i was two seconds off of getting this for myself for my birthday so i also had a dupe for this before i had this fragrance called Janu noir by all her main i think about that months back and they said that that was a very close dupe to dama bianca which is what this is y'all i got that and they also said that that was close to like Charosa 40. Charosa 40 is a scent that I used to, I, I mean, I pretty much have always loved. And I've stepped away from it as of recent, but it still got a special place in my heart. And so I was like, so people were saying this was more like a perfume version, kind of a play on that. Like it kind of reminds you of that, puts you in the same ballpark. And I'm like, well, that'd be perfect. That's right up my alley. So y'all, I got it, that fragrance. And I was like this ain't for me it's not giving <laughs> and it's like let me spray this and tell you because the same thing i got from that is what i got from this and i could tell you y'all that's a good dupe so if y'all want a good dupe for that Janu noir was a really good dupe i think it's by al hermain this is dama bianca i'm gonna spray it right here really good sprayers y'all they give you a nice amount and i like that it sprays out way better than dabbers so let me tell you the fragrance is nice it's delicate it's dainty it's feminine it's soft it's pretty it's all of the things however something about it don't jive with me i just don't really love it i like that it's okay if someone were to gift me this fragrance would i keep it and wear it yes uh would i buy this fragrance no if it was on sale half price for the one ounce maybe you know what i mean so that's where i'm at with it it's a pretty fragrance i don't even it's not super powdery to me either you guys i know i heard people say that um i don't know the notes for this off the top of my head but i think it had like kumquat and lime maybe iris and vanilla that's all i remember but it's okay i just i don't love it I'm not head over heels for it like everybody else. Uh, it's okay, though. I would accept it as a gift. I would not buy it myself. So, yeah. That was Dama Bianca, you guys. Next up, I picked up Fire at Will. So, I'm going to spray this here. I really was interested in this, you guys. give it some time to dry down because right now I'm just getting vanilla let me get a tester strip not sure about this one okay maybe I'm just getting vanilla I'm not getting any anything else no aromatics no and I don't know what's in here but that's all I'm getting and it's not even it's not if I get something different later, y'all, I'll let you know because I did spray it right here. But so far, it's just giving basic. Sorry. So the next scent that I got was Vanille Extreme Comptoir Sud Pacific. Yeah, y'all, this was just something that I seen that I wanted to try. No, heard nothing about it. I just got it. And I can honestly say right from the get-go, and I still smell that when I just sprayed it. Y'all, this smells like, excuse me, this smells like Play-Doh. First I got vanilla, then I got straight Play-Doh. That's exactly what this smells like. This was a dud. I don't like the Play-Doh smells, y'all. I did have one other, and y'all, I'm sorry to report, I took so long, y'all. I went crazy with the sample, and I, 
I have since bought the fragrance, which I already bought the fragrance, and that is Montal's Sweet Vanilla. It was on sale, so honestly, if I'm being truthful, even before the sample came, I already had the fragrance, so <laughs> I went ahead and used up my sample, but yeah, y'all, yeah, it's Montel Sweet Vanilla. I really wanted this based off of reviews, and I really want to try it. How do I feel about it? Well, let's talk about it. I caught it on sale, so. So, it opens up with a, a little bit of citrus. And then it goes straight into that apricot. Yep. It's an apricot and, and vanilla. As soon as it dries down, it goes from, it goes from, a little citrus, apricot, vanilla. Pretty linear, you guys. I don't think it's going to change. I've worn this before. It hasn't changed. I will say I get that synthetic vibe that people talk about when it comes to Santal. I'm sorry, when it comes to Montal fragrances. I didn't know what they meant by that. But to me, it just means... To me, this, this doesn't smell like a, a jammy apricot or really authentic it's not an authentic grandma to me it, it smells manufactured like chemicals if i'm being honest so was this a dud no i'm not mad at the purchase i'll find ways to layer it had i waited on the sample would i have gotten it you see why i'm on a no buy <laughs> but that is my tall's sweet vanilla it was actually in a sample y'all and i i've already used the sample it was in my empties video if you already watched it so you know already right. and i have one right. other sample that i want to show you guys on camera that did not come from lucky scent but i received this with another purchase and i just want to bring it to y'all yo i got this bow de freak i put it in another video too but i want to put it in here and i've been hearing good things about bow de freak i really wanted to know I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want that fragrance. I want that fragrance. It is clean. It is fresh. It is giving airy, citrus, <clears throat> bright. I'm not even really getting a feminine vibe. It's not in any way leaning masculine or feminine. It's just like neutral. Oh, I love it. It's just giving fresh, like clean it's me it's this that, that's giving me my quintessential clean girl scent that would be it if i could get it so if i find that on sale at some point i don't mind getting it i don't mind the hype is real for bowder free it's it's gorgeous oh, i'm so, so anyway you guys that was my small little haul of testing some niche fragrances from scent split if you guys enjoyed it go ahead and hit the like button for me and leave me a comment down below i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.